Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To begin our service on this Palm Sunday, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, the 21st chapter. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the ground. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus of Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of our Lord. Let us pray. We praise you, O God, for redeeming the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Today he entered the holy city in triumph and was proclaimed Messiah and King by those who spread garments and branches along his way. Bless those who have and who continue to carry palm branches along this pilgrim way. Grant us grace to follow our Lord in the way of the cross, so that joined to his death and resurrection, we enter into life with you. Through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Amen. We have had a number of helpers this weekend delivering palm branches as far as we could to members and friends of our congregation they were left on doorsteps throughout Lunenburg County. And if you have one, we invite you to grab it now. Hold it and carry it as we sing our gathering hymn. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the high. A reading for Paul's letters to the Philippians this Palm Sunday morning. 
I'll be reading Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Jesus Christ, who, though is he in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself taking the form of a slave being born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. sick on Palm Sunday and so decided to stay home from church with his mother. His father returned from church a little while later holding a palm branch. The little boy was curious and asked, Dad, why do you have that branch? And the father replied, you see, son, when Jesus came into town, everyone waved palm branches to welcome him and so that's why we got palm branches today. Ah, rats, the little boy shouts. The one Sunday I miss church is the Sunday that Jesus actually decides to show up. You know, as I think back to Palm Sunday's past, there are a number of memories that, that leap to mind for me. The time during my internship when we paraded around a downtown Ottawa city block, much to the chagrin of nearby neighbors. The year that all the palms wilted and turned brown overnight, and we were left to enter the sanctuary waving bulletins, flyers, whatever else we could get our hands on. Or the service that entailed a rogue donkey who almost took out the crucifer. What is it that people say about the best laid plans? But this year, as I've spent some time reflecting on the story of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, it hasn't been parades that have caught my attention. In fact, it hasn't been the waving palm branches, nor even the donkey gone rogue or, or otherwise. Rather, my focus has returned time and time again to the simple fact that Jesus shows into the crowd, into the confusion, into the fear, into the danger, into the anxiety, into the mess of the world. Jesus shows up. The depths of our Lord's passion is indeed on the horizon, but we're not there yet. Instead, we are invited to dwell with the Savior who shows up for us over and over, time and time again. Then, but 
also now. A Savior who is determined to wade through our grit and grime, just as he waded through the strewn branches. A Lord who is just as committed to meeting us in the face of our worries and troubles, as he was committed to embracing the crowd who filled the air with shouts of Hosanna. And a Christ who is just as bold to call us out of the fear that grips us as he was to call the disciples to untie the colt and to bring it to him. In a world that seems almost unrecognizable with each passing hour, today we find solace in the presence of our God here, in our homes, throughout our communities, and around God's world. Paul writes to the church in Philippi, found in human form, Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death even death on a cross. And that cross, that grace, and that love poured out means that our Lord continues to meet us. It means that the name above all names continues to speak hope into our lives. It means that our Savior continues to show up. In fact, Jesus is with us now. And so if you have a palm branch, I want you to wave it. Even if you have to resort to using the newspaper sitting next to you, or a hymn book, or whatever else you can find. Wave it boldly. For indeed, dear friends, we have much to celebrate today. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who has who does, and who always will, show up in the name of the Lord. Amen. friends, let us spend some time now in prayer together. The prayers that we are praying this Sunday, we pray with our siblings in Christ around the world, and they are a resource provided to us by Sundays and Seasons. Let us pray. Turning our hearts to God who is gracious and is merciful, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of mercy, awaken your church to new proclamations of your faithfulness. By your Spirit, give us bold and joyful words to speak that we may sustain the weary with the message of your redemption. Hear us, O God. God of mercy, quiet the earth where it trembles and it shakes. Protect vulnerable ecosystems, threatened habitats, and endangered species. Prosper the work of scientists, engineers, and researchers. Hear us, O God. God of mercy, drive away fear and anger that cause us to turn against one another. Give us courage to live and work in service to the unity of God's people. Hear us, O God. 
God of mercy, send your saving help to all who suffer abuse and insult, discrimination or contempt. Heal the wounded, comfort the dying, bring peace to those suffering chronic or terminal illnesses. Today we especially pray for those whose names we carry on our prayer lists and those whose needs weigh heavy in our hearts. Hear us, O God. God of mercy, we pray for all those who find themselves in unfamiliar time as we enter this holy week. In all things, show us the ways that you call us to live for you and to give of ourselves for the sake of others. Hear us, O God. For our bishops Michael and Susan, their assistants, and Pastor Kimber, our dean, for the joy we experience in our shared ministry. Hear us, O God. God of mercy, when we breathe our last, you raise us to eternal life. With all your witnesses in heaven and on earth, let us boldly confess the name of Jesus Christ, our resurrection and our hope. Hear us, O God. According to your steadfast love, O God, hear these and all our prayers as we commend them to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Amen. Hosanna in the highest. Go and peace.